All right, folks, welcome to this week's Indian Lake Fishing Report. Brought to you by Mike's Bait and Tackle, Route 235, Lakeview, Ohio. And powered by all of those awesome sauces from Urbane Farm Products. Available at The Depot, Downtown Lakeview, Ohio. This week's report, folks, there's not a lot that has changed. Lake Monsters reporting the water to be anywhere from 72 to 74 degrees on the surface. The lake harvesters are out and about. They are busy, so keep a mindful eye out for them. I tell you folks, it's been a slow couple days on the lake. Not a lot of people are out fishing. And not a lot are being caught. Which... You really should be on to a lot of mixed bag fishing that, that should be really good right now. And if it's not, my educated guess would be a lot of it has to do with the weed harvesters being all over different areas. And the test strips. That's going to run fishing for a week or so at, in any given area where they've been. So you need to do some exploring get out move around the lake uh you know work those weed lines don't don't get where they just done a test strip or just got done harvesting weeds it, the fish are going to go find cover um they should be up up shallower with the the cooling temperatures i predict from here on out through this weekend we do have a storm coming but we should have some very great fishing going on. That should produce a lot of mixed bags. Try to get out ahead of the storm front. I think it's going to rain Saturday or Sunday. I'd have to look. But uh, if you haven't fished out ahead of a storm front, give it a good shot. That pressure is going to drive them to feed. Since I don't have a lot for you today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you with a little tip and maybe a little more information. So, on the information side of it, like I said in my last report, keep your eye open. I'll be announcing some bluegill and crappie tournaments coming up here in this fall. All put on by Mike's Bait and Tackle. Now, for those of you that are going to get into some good crappie fishing here, you know when you get out there on a windy day, or you're going to go a little bit deeper, you're out there on a boat in them holes, and you're going to want to increase probably the size of your jig head. Okay, I like sticking with a 1 seconds ounce jig, because the fall rate on that is about a foot per second. I find that to be a very alluring fall rate to crappie. You don't want it to zing down past them too fast. If you jump up to a bigger or heavier style jig head, the fall rate's going to be a lot faster and it's going to go right past your target. So, to correct that problem or slow the fall rate down, what you can do is take a heavier pound test. Let's say for example you're using six pound test line. Rather whatever. You could have ten pound braid whatever. So if you have a six pound test line uh, mono what you want to do is make a leader six eight inch leader jump up to about eight pound test a mono. That's going to slow your fall rate down on that bigger jig. Give it a shot, folks. It works. The crappie should be uh, still hammering. They are getting them in the mornings and night around the docks and the bridges. So you might want to try Moundwood Bridge. Give catfishing just a little bit of a break. Uh, break out your light and uh, start, start shallow and uh, work your way down. A lot of places you can get them a foot or less so until Saturday I'll probably have a lot better update for you tight lines 
solid hook sets.